My region, the Middle East, contains amongst the hottest deserts in the world, places inhospitable to most forms of life. But for us, they are also places of breathtaking beauty, places that form the fabric of our souls and the basis of our heritage. Protecting these environments and ensuring the stability of the people who live in them is not just a matter of protecting habitats and ensuring stability. It's about protecting the very essence of our lives. It is a tragic reality that it is the poor and vulnerable populations who exist throughout my region and more widely throughout the drylands who will likely face the greatest risk from the climate change. Water shortages and rising sea levels could lead to mass migration. The environmental stresses, especially contracting water supplies, could exacerbate animosities across the world, but particularly across the drylands, if this is not the case already. And yet dealing with climate change and recognizing the looming crisis need not be negative. Across the drylands, the dialogue provides us with positive opportunities for local, cross-border and international cooperation to ameliorate the problems that face us. I feel sure that the Global Humanitarian Forum will act as a catalyst, bridge builder and advocate for climate change adaptation in the drylands of Africa, the Middle East and Central Asia.